nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ignition start. We have liftoff of an ILS proton rocket from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan with the SatMex 8 satellite on board. It can be a little difficult to see, but at about 10 seconds after liftoff, the rocket does a roll maneuver and will soon experience maximum dynamic pressure, also known as Max Q and is the maximum aerodynamic load on the vehicle. For Proton, it corresponds to about Mark 1.6 and occurs at 1 minute 2 seconds after liftoff. Everything seems to be proceeding nominally as the vehicle heads across the Cosmodome vertically in a northern easterly direction with a flight launch azimuth of approximately 6.13 degrees. So as we can see, it's a beautiful night out in Baikonur. We have clear skies and we can watch this rocket on its flight path. You know, as the ILS Proton travels easterly downrange, our viewers are going to notice some time lags in our reporting of key mission milestones. Now, the reason behind this delay is that as ILS Proton follows its pre-programmed flight path, it will pass out of range of the Baikonur receiving stations. Now, at this point, signals are received by stations downrange and transmitted back to Baikonur. So this does cause brief delays in our reporting. We are coming up on the first stage's separation from the second stage that is set to occur at two minutes into the flight. Zach, have we got confirmation? And we have confirmation of a good separation between the first and second stages. Okay, we're all proceeding as nominal and as planned. We have a signal of ignition on all four second stage engines. They will burn for a total of about 3 minutes and 27 seconds. The next key mission milestone will be stage 2, 3 separation at L plus 5 minutes and 27 seconds. 20 seconds after that, the payload fairing pyros will fire, separating the two halves and they will be jettisoned from the vehicle. <laughs> 